Welcome boys, another video here. Yeah, the lighting's better this time. Um, and it's not even fucking sunny anymore, it's like snowing or some shit, so, you know. Shouldn't be too bad of a distraction. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, fucking whatever else there is to celebrate. Hope you guys had a happy one. Uh, hope you ever even got what they wanted for Christmas. If not, well, fucking, oh well, the game's the game, man, next year. Yeah, a bit of a different video, actually. Similar to something I've kind of done, but different. So basically, we're doing a comparison between two very popular sports drinks right now. One kind of like the past of sports drinks, the next is like the future present of, future, of uh, sports drinks. So obviously if you are smart with your sport knowledge, or you've just been around a while, you'll know the past is Gatorade. And so this was my go-to for the longest time until I think 2020. Is when I stopped using Gatorade, really. But I got it, you know, I saw it at Sobeys. It was like, you know what, I've been wanting to do this kind of video for a while. So we just cop some Gatorade. This is the, this is the uh, I don't even know what it's called anymore. Glacier Cherry, it's basically your white freezing in a Gatorade bottle. And the next one is, yeah, Bio Steel. And that is basically their equivalent to it, which is White Frost. Or, well, literally Glacier Berry, kind of. Compare them, kind of go over the similarities, the differences. Which one's kind of probably better, but uh, yeah, let's get right. So similarities, obviously, the flavor. That's kind of just like that's common sense. Um, they're both sports recovery drinks. You know, they both you can you both drink them. You know, refuel what you've lost. Has a Gatorade, we say. Um, other than that, though, I, that might be it, I guess. Like, there's not a lot of similarities. Like they're both hydration, I guess, yeah. Cause this one's what? Yeah, so this one's a hydration mix. This one's just straight fucking Gato, as Jack Hughes would say. It's not lemon though, so sorry, Jack. But um, yeah, and if you wanna get into the differences here. So differences, this one is actually has 41 grams of sugar in this one bottle here. So obviously it's got sugars in it. This one, as they advertise is sugar-free, no sugar added. Um, so there's your differences with their like a main one. Um, this one, the Gator usually has double of like the nutritional facts list of the BioSteel. So I know this one's like 100, 170 cows. This one here is literally like, what? Fucking five calories or some shit? Literally five calories, so that's more than double. Honestly, they're both solid, but Gatorade you can see it's like the old, you know, you load up on your sugars, your potassium, you load up on those kinds of things for hockey in here. This BioSteel, I've noticed, has more the minerals. So it's got like zinc, magnesium, that kind of stuff in it, whereas this one is just straight potassium and sugar. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's uh, try a little taste test here and... Uh... I didn't plan that far ahead, boys. All right, my bad. Yeah, I just hopped off the bench. I just wanna see right off the bat. It's so weird to me because it's like I haven't had it in forever. And it tastes so much different than body steel. Like it tastes stronger. Whew. Okay. So I am still gonna give this like a seven or an eight out of 10 because this stuff is like, it's, it's classic, it's OG. Like taste for me is obviously not gonna be like the same as I haven't had in forever. I've been using this stuff for so long now. But let's get right into this one here. Right off the bat, like this one you can taste. Like it just pops at you more. Honestly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them the same for the taste. I might give like the extra 0. 0.5 to the BioSteel for the taste, but I'm gonna give them the same for like taste. Now, which one do I think is better? I personally think BioSteel is better just because of the no sugar and stuff, you know, that's pretty good for like in the middle of a sports game. You don't just load up on sugars and stuff and crash in the middle of the game. They do still have the same aspects aside from that though. They still have minerals. Like if you look at the ingredients, you will still see 
Okay, maybe not. All right, so maybe maybe Gatorade's lacking some of those. But I mean, you both, you have star athletes on both sides that use it. So you look at the Gatorade side, you know, Philippe Poulain, Crosby, all those guys. Bio Steel, you got obviously McDavid, Bedard, Sagan, Shane Wright, you know, all those guys. NBA players, like everyone's kind of switching over to that healthier option. Obviously, you saw that with the NHL's choice to move away from Gatorade, kind of step into the Bio Steel part. For taste, I'm giving them the same. I'm really gonna have to give them the same. Which one do I think is better? Could be biased just because I've been using it longer, but for me, it's gotta be Bio Steel. All right, boys, that video might not have been like kind of what you'd expect from me. I honestly, it was like at the first time kind of doing a kind of comparison. So like I might have been off with some of my facts and I might have rushed kind of through it a little bit. But if you guys have any future ideas you want to see, drop them down below. Um, I'll certainly get to it. Uh, I just thought I'd give this one a try, see how it would go. Without ado, guys, thanks for watching. Um, obviously, you know, comment down below. Gatorade, BioSteel. And uh, I'll see you next time. Like, subscribe, and uh, enjoy your holidays, beauties.